Hello, welcome to another Minecraft Light Medica Did You Know video. I'm sure at this point you're probably getting sick of seeing this structure that I've basically featured in the majority of my videos thus far covering Light Medica. But in this video, I want to use this one because of what I've done with it. I um, want to cover the manual origin set point. Uh, I've downloaded probably hundreds, maybe even thousands of schematics from creators over my tenure of what it was been since 2017 I started playing Minecraft and not one of the schematics I've downloaded and loaded into the world has done what I am going to demonstrate in a moment but I'm going to go ahead and load in a schematic here and basically by default uh where nope I got to go all the way up here okay let's load this in by default, it always will set an origin point at the lowest Y level at the northwest corner of your build. And this is quite a large storage array that I've set up and actually built in a world before, but I digress. Essentially, this makes this very hard to manipulate when trying to make a placement in your world where you want to build it, because when you go into the configuration and you want to rotate it, it rotates on that corner. And I discovered the manual origin set point and I have decided moving forward, that is all I'm ever gonna use. So you can see I have my schematic loaded there. And what I wanna do is I'll go ahead and I'll rotate this and demonstrate it will actually rotate on the origin point that I set. And you can see it's pretty much centralized. I know it's kind of grayed out and behind the menu there, but you kind of get the point. And the way we achieve this is quite simple, actually. Um, whenever you're creating your schematic, you've got your selection done. And if you go into the area editor, and it doesn't matter if you're in the area selection browser or if you're in basically simple or normal creation of your schematic, you go in manual origin is always off. So basically you just turn it on, pick a centralized place within the structure and click on move to player and what that will do is set the origin point at your feet and then whenever you save the schematic and people download it in the future when they load it into the world they'll be standing in the center of your build not in the lower northwest corner of it and i'll fly in here and i'll rotate it trying to stand as much in this origin point as i can and you'll kind of see a little bird's eye view of what i'm getting at here so go ahead and configure rotate and you can see i'm more or less in the center-ish of this. I didn't put it directly in the center and that was on purpose because I actually in one of the, I have a podium there, but you know, it's kind of the point and that's more of an ask actually. Um, so essentially if you're creating a schematic and uh, I'll demonstrate to do this within the normal mode selection. So we'll switch this to normal, go here, create one. Doesn't matter what it's called. Then we will give it a point A, we will give it a point B. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll go into the menu and we'll go into area editor. We'll go into configure and oh, it's actually right here. Manual origin is off. We set it to on and we click move to player and you'll see that it puts a box right there at your feet where you were standing within the structure very simple to do, very easy to do. And whenever you save your schematic and people download it in the future, they will appreciate you that much more. Well, thank you for watching. I do appreciate your time and you have a good day.